Hello my valuable friends and welcome. I'm Tetivik and in today's video we're going to discuss how to increase more feminine womanly energy in your life and how to actually increase that today. Not tomorrow, not after one year, but what are the steps that you can take which are practical that will help you to become more womanly and feel more feminine energy today. If you're a woman, feminine energy is what actually makes you very beautiful, very attractive, very magnetic, and to everyone, not only for men, but to kids, to animals, to the world, and to yourself. Feminine energy is actually the only energy that a woman needs to be able to achieve everything that she wants in a womanly manner. Before I start, let me tell you, you can book one-to-one -one session with me can purchase online courses i have even a course a very beautifully luxurious course just about femininity is one of my best courses i've ever created i'm in love with that course it's so beautiful you know i'm sitting there in a beautiful dress and i'm teaching you explaining you what i've learned about femininity it can change your life and of course i have different other courses as well i have different luxury products that i sell everything you can see is available as well for the purchase any dresses that i wear you can also order for your size and of course you can purchase my book all links are below and thank you so much <clears throat> for your generous donations now let's start as you know, I'm always very specific and I really value time in general, your time, my time, and the time in global scale. And I would like us to start immediately to, first of all, make yourself comfortable, get yourself something to eat, something healthy, or drink some water because every new knowledge requires water. The brain is created from water. So I always say, even when I have calls with uh, people that I help, I always, before the call, I write to them, have a water and then call me. And that's how we do it. And it's amazing. It actually affects your brain. So get yourself comfortable and let's start. Number one, how to increase your feminine energy. What you want to focus on is to actually remove the blocks of masculine energy in your life. The reason that we are lacking feminine energy, especially young women and women in our generation that are kind of affected by the modern uh, modern society pressure is that we have too much of a masculine energy we have too much of a pressure to be masculine to do life as men to live like men to dress like men to look like men and to even pursue men so this is unnatural for a woman what you wanted to do in order for you to increase your feminine energy energy you want to decrease the masculine energy you remove the blocks of trying to be a man Removing the blocks helps you to relax. Okay, I don't need to be tense. I don't need to fight. I don't need to pressure. I don't need to chase. I'm a woman. Right now, when I'm sitting and talking to you, money is coming to me. It's getting transferred. Beauty is overwhelmingly uh, filling in my body. My health is becoming bigger. Right now, every process that I want is happening. My man is falling in love with me even deeper. My friendships are becoming even stronger because they're waiting. After this, I will finish and I will text them back. They're looking forward to hear from me. Right now, while I'm sitting as a woman, I am not in my masculine. I'm in my feminine. So in order for me to increase my feminine energy, I have to decrease my masculine energy. This is the most simplest, most practical tip I can teach you. I can give you. I can gift you. And, you know, sometimes I tell that in my videos, you can take one sentence and it can drastically and radically change your life. And a lot of women say, you said this one thing, I did this one thing and everything changed. You know, I always say, wear cute belts. It accentuates your waist. And a woman taking pictures and sending me, I'm wearing the belts, I'm wearing dresses, like you said, I feel so much more feminine. This one little accessory, this one little tweak of increasing the feminine energy by decreasing the masculine energy that's the big change so you have to understand you cannot have light and dark in a room when you enter the room and you switch the light the darkness fades so how to increase feminine energy decrease the masculine energy now number second what i want to discuss in here that you have to learn and comprehend actually the expensiveness and luxuriousness of feminine energy you will never in your life value something you don't understand you will never be able to really cherish something 
that you don't know the worth of. Feminine energy is the most expensive energy in the whole planet. Even if you look at the mother nature, we call it mother nature, not the father. Mother nature is incredibly creative. Mother nature can destroy us. If the moon decides tomorrow to not appear, it's scientifically proven fact, all waters from the all oceans and rivers will come out from their borderlines and flood the whole universe. If the moon is like, mm, I don't feel like appearing. <laughs> so uh, mother nature, it doesn't even need to touch us. It's just, let me just remove the moon for a second and we're gone. The stars have meaning. Every little tree, every insect has a meaning. We are under divine, beautiful plan. Feminine energy is the most expensive, luxurious, the most valuable energy in the world. So for you, in order to learn how to increase your feminine energy, you have to acknowledge this. This is expensive. I am expensive. Feminine energy that is dwelling in me is expensive. That's why I am covered. Have you noticed in all my videos? <clears throat> <clears throat> Have you noticed that I'm always covered? There is a reason for that. I'm protecting my beauty. I'm protecting my feminine energy. I'm protecting my body. This is private property. You can't enter. We have cameras in here. I actually have cameras in my house, around my house, outside the house, inside the garden. And you walk and there is an alarm that comes off. If someone, a bird uh, rushes, the alarm comes off. Because expensive person is living in this area. In this place, in this house, I'm expensive. My energy is expensive. But I cannot increase in my feminine energy if I don't understand the value of it. If you don't understand the value of your knowledge, my knowledge, for example, is very valuable. I have several degrees. I'm fluent in several languages. I have several years of experience. That's why the consultations with me is valuable. The courses that you take are valuable. Of course, I'm very generous. I give a beautiful, free, uh, not free, nothing is for free because I'm not for free, complimentary um, content that you can watch, you can dwell in. And you know what? I still get paid because God finds a way how to bless me. He says, put this topic. I'll say, okay, Father, I listen to him. I do this for him. I'm not doing this for you, if I'm honest. I'm not even doing this for me. I'm doing this for my Father to glorify him. So there is one more person who actually shows love you know, sometimes women say that by watching you, I'll learn that I can be loved, that I can be beautiful, that I can be feminine. I have a very big purpose in this world. Maybe you don't know, but I know. So to, for you to learn to increase your feminine energy, you have to recognize that you are expensive. Your feminine energy is the most expensive energy resource in the whole planet because you can create life. What else do you need? What other explanation do you need? By just realizing that, immediately my feminine energy is rising. I can feel the whole bodies. I can feel I'm rising in my feminine energy because I'm realizing it's worth. And I'm realizing how valuable I am. That's why I always say my valuable friends. And men are valuable as well. But right now we're focusing on women. Now the third aspect is actually to increase your feminine energy. You need to do different self-care rituals. Have you seen me ever without makeup on my channel? You will never see that. It's impossible in the life. I will never turn the camera on. If I go out, I will never go out without my makeup. Uh, I am very secure in myself. But makeup is part of me beautifying myself. I love jewelry. I love matching jewelry. I love beautiful dresses. I love matching belts. I love beautiful things. I love beautiful makeup. I love when my nails are done, my hair is done. It's a self-care ritual for a woman to increase her femininity and in general to become more womanly. But increasing feminine energy is by only one thing, action. Mm -hmm. Can't just sit and think, okay, it's come to me. Yes, we, you can do that, but you know, your hair is not going to blow dry itself. Your hair is not going to wash itself. Your nails are not going to be done if you do not go to the salon or make your nails at home yourself. Action. To increase feminine energy, you need to take action of the self-care. 
a woman who is not taking a bath, I have a very big problem with that because since all the generations from even when we were in ancient Egypt or Rome, we always we were connected with water. We were always bathing ourselves. Scientifically proven that the reason that parents are bathing their children when they're small every day is because that's how children are grow are growing. That's how children grow because of the water. They're growing when you're ba bathing them. Can you imagine? So you have to take a bath. Now, it doesn't mean you're growing and becoming taller while you're taking a bath. Well, that can happen as well, if you believe. If you believe anything in your mind, that can happen. <laughs> Everything can happen if you believe. It's up to you. But what I'm um, saying in here is that you have to take a bath as a woman to relax yourself and say, of course, I get to have this. Of course, I'm a woman. I get to enjoy myself. I get to beautify myself. I get to do these things. And number four, what I want to discuss is that to increase your feminine energy, you actually need to be surrounded with feminine things, with glamour things, with luxury things, with uh, in uh, luxury places, in beautiful places that, you know, raise your vibrations, you know, beautiful gold lamps. This is all raising vibration. Even right now, you're looking at this setup. It's a feminine energy. It's a feminine essence being sitting in here. All the plants, it's a feminine energy. All the lies, the gold, the luxury, it's a feminine energy. It's a luxury coming in your field, coming in your eyes. Right now, your feminine energy, if it's a scale, it's actually increasing. You're becoming more feminine just by looking at me, just by being in my presence, just by looking at the beautiful things. Your feminine energy is increasing. Now, I say to women, the reason I will show you, for example, you know, I love glittery bags. My cute bag, do you like it? Eee. The reason I love glittery bags and glittery things in general is because it reminds me of water. I will say for women, you know, all beautiful diamonds, all the things that we like that are glittery, there is a reason. And if you want to increase your feminine energy, go and look at the glittery bags. Go and try or buy or wear or try or, or look or touch beautiful glittery shoes. Look at this princess shoes. Oh, by the way, can we just acknowledge this beautiful set? Shall we just go out? <laughs> Shall we go out? Girls, do you want to go out? <laughs> I'm always having fun. But just by looking at this, you know, this is feminine energy. By you just looking at it, touching it, feeling it. Just you don't even need to have them in your real life. You can go to the store. You don't need to buy, you know. By just looking at them right now, your feminine energy is increasing. Oh, this is so girly. It's so simple. Women don't realize that actually it's very easy to increase your feminine energy if you only take actions in a real life and you surround yourself with beautiful things. Put yourself in a field of having beautiful things in your life. Now, uh, in here, if we're talking about things to surround yourself with beautiful things, I, of course, I always um, 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 put emphasize on makeup. The reason is because when a woman is beautifying herself, even holding a makeup, this is a lipstick, I think it's incredibly glamorous, it already makes me feel great. Even just, you know, that sound, you know, that I love the sound. You know that sound when you open the lipstick and you close? I love that sound. This is actually increasing feminine energy. The lipstick is number one thing. If you feel upset at home, just walk to the mirror and put your lipstick. And actually, it's, it's, there is something beautiful about the woman who knows these little things. You know, a simple thing as, for example, putting your perfume. Choose any designer or not designer. Choose whatever you want. Just put in your perfume. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at this. Mm. And you want a little bit on you? <laughs> it's already, I can smell it. It's beautiful. I love this scent. It's, 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 it's glamour. So glamorize yourself. Beautify yourself as a woman. Now, you see, all these things are very practical. If we go through every of this list specifically and separately, you will understand that becoming a woman, becoming, increasing your feminine energy, it's a practical lifestyle. It's not a theory you look at. It's a practice. A feminine energy can be increased with a simple action of you lighting the candle, dimming the lights in the evenings, taking a very sh a long, uh, without no rush shower, staying at the, under the water, that increases also your energy as a woman. Making your makeup without rush, not rushing, increases your feminine energy. Changing dresses throughout the day. Coming home and, for example, changing the dress and going with another dress to the dinner. That increases your feminine energy. The body gets excited. Oh my God, I get to have two beautiful dresses on the same day. 
I had an um, event that I went to. I went to two restaurants the same day and I changed my dresses. And then and my man was waiting for me. I was like, just give me one second. And I went to the ladies' room, a beautiful powder room. I changed my dress and I came. He's like, where did you get this dress from? <laughs> I said, I had it with me. It's it's very, you know, silky dress. You can just kind of make it smaller and roll and you can put it in your bag. You don't even need to carry the whole dress. And I was like, surprise, I'm full of surprises. And I love that. It made me feel so feminine. He was just like, let me grab you. <laughs> you know, in a, in a respectful way. But he was super excited and it increased his masculine energy. Now, these are very practical ways. And I want you to understand that femininity is practical. You don't need to sit at home and cry. You can go out and be beautiful and feminine. And you can increase your energy by people looking at you, complimenting you, acknowledging your beauty. It also makes you feel good. I'm not saying for looking for validation or attention. I'm just uh, trying to point the, um, the fact that when you are increasing your feminine energy, people are helping you to increase your feminine energy. People are there to help you. But when you're increasing your feminine energy, they love that. A feminine woman is magnetic. There is, there is a magnetic pole that she's created that everything and everyone is drawn to her. So feminine energy is mesmerizing to men, to the world. They want it. They love it. They desire. And when you increase your feminine energy, by doing the simple things, dressing femininely, you know, having feminine things, touching feminine things, going to the places that make you feel feminine, even surrounding yourself with beautiful things, buying yourself flowers, men have no choice than to gift it to you because they want to help you to increase it even more. For, uh, number five, what I want to discuss is that you, uh, for in order for you to increase feminine energy, you have to actually be uh, with a masculine man. If you are with a feminine man, um, feminine energy is not going to increase, it's going to decrease it because the mind says, no, something is wrong. This is something is not right in here. So for you to increase your feminine energy, you need to be with a masculine man. I love masculine men. Mm. Something so attractive about them. Because I'm attracted to my opposite. I'm feminine. So if I'm soft and vulnerable, I want him to be manly and strong. Take care of the things when we walk in somewhere. I want to rest. I don't want to stress. Let him take care of things. <clears throat> Let him open the door. Let him to talk to the waiter. I love when men order for me. In fact, in my culture, it's a sign of respect. You don't sit and order for yourself. I can do it myself, okay? No, you don't do like this. You go to the restaurant and you say, honey, you know, I would like this and this. And can I have this salad? And I would like some olives on the side. <coughs> Excuse me. And they order for you. You don't need to order anything. He will have, have it ordered. He'll take care of you. And that is increasing your feminine energy. The masculine man is always going to increase your feminine energy. So ask yourself, what type of men am I dating? Are they classy? Are they manly? Are they masculine? Are they taking care of me? Are they providing me with safety? These are the questions to ask. Sometimes the reason why you actually are losing your feminine energy is the type of a man you date. Think about it. Just reflect. Go to your contacts and think about it. Who needs to be deleted? Who needs to be left? What type of man do I want to be with? What type of man is my dream man? Do I have masculine men in my life? Oh, thanks God I have. Oh, great. And I'm going to embrace him even more. Oh, I don't have? Great. Then I will leave this and start actually focusing on um, creating that in my life. So number five, and num this was number five. And uh, number six, what I want to mention in here is that the ultimate way how to actually increase your feminine energy. I have to take a pause because this is so pleasurable to talk about. Hmm. The ultimate way how to increase your feminine energy is to get married, create family and have children. Now, absolutely, I agree with you that not every woman is a good mother. Not every woman even deserves to be married. Of course, we all deserve love. Don't get me wrong. I don't mean this in a bad way. But some people, I think they need to better not have kids because they are, you know, abused and they're abusive and they they need healing. So before you have kids, I think there should be a created a program for everyone who actually want to have uh, kids 
before you um when you understand that you are pregnant that's it you you they're taking you from your job the government is paying for you to exist and they are taking you to the course where they are teaching you how to be parents they're healing your childhood wounds they're taking care of your traumas they're healing your pains and suffering they are discussing how to be a parent this is what i think it should be if i'm the president of this country this is what i would do that every parent the moment you find out you're pregnant that's it you're going to our little beautiful retreat and we take care of you. We teach you how to get rid of your addiction. We heal your childhood parenting wounds. And we teach you how to be a parent. And you know how healthy will be the society? But of course, it's beneficial for society to not be healthy. Because then you are dependent on different drugs. Then you are dependent on a, ph a pharmaceutical medicine. Then you are dependent on alcohol. You are dependent on a fast food. And that's where the money is. So it's very pay good for the government for you to not be healthy. For you to not have healthy children. So think about yourself. Take care of yourself. And for you to increase feminine energy, you have to understand I'm not created to be here alone and just live for myself and make my own business and my money and buy myself flowers. Yes, I order flowers for myself every two weeks. It comes with the groceries. I don't even think about it. It's part of my decor in the house. Of course, when I'm with my man, I go on a date with him. We spend time. We have a romantic dinner. He brings me flowers. And I adore my man's flowers is actually what I adore. I adore his flowers. I love my flowers. I like them. I enjoy them. But I adore my man's flowers. Because there is something beautiful and magnetic and incredibly masculine. Can you imagine? This handsome man is driving and he's thinking about, oh, my beautiful Titic. What flowers am I going to get my beautiful woman? Then he goes to the store and he's still thinking about me. And he's buying flowers and he's choosing beautiful flowers. I like very good quality. I will not tolerate whatever. Tulips. I don't like tulips. <laughs> I'm nothing against beautiful flowers, but not my style. I love beautiful lilies. I love giant roses. I love impress me with flowers. I love flowers. And so he's thinking, okay, which flowers I can get her? And then he's giving that to me and I'm smelling and I'm jumping from the joy and I'm kissing him and I'm, and I'm hugging him. That is joy. That is joy for a man and that is joy for me as a woman. But my core message in here is you can forget about everything. You can erase all the points. Just know that for you to increase your feminine energy every day, it's actually being married with this uh, man who takes care of you, who loves you. It's having family. It's having kids. And you know what? No one talks about it. That's why I wanted to include in this video that actually increasing um, to increase your feminine energy you have to be in a feminine state and feminine state is loving nurturing taking care of kids taking care of the house beautifying the house i'm not going to cook and clean why if i want to make myself a salad so what i'm going to die i am going to cook if there is something that um, uh, broke or something felt of course i'm going to clean that space because if my cleaner is coming um, in two days, so what, everything is going to be bad now? No. So women should not be this arrogant, this uh, cold, um, like a um, winter type of a princess look. You should, you should be very nurturing. For me, it's a pleasure to make a tea. For me, it's a pleasure to bring uh, the, you know, the things that you want for you, a little snack if you're working too, too hard. For me, it's a pleasure to hold uh, children in my eye, arms. It's For me, it's a pleasure to serve as a woman. So to increase your feminine energy, allow yourself to have family, get married successfully, be loved and show love and nurture and care. This is the ultimate thing, how you increase your feminine energy, because woman is created for family. Woman is not created to be in the streets woman is created to be in family for the family and have the family now let's summarize one more time to increase your feminine energy number one what you want to do is you want to remove and decrease the masculine energy so in order to have one you have to illuminate another the second we discussed that you have to realize and comprehend that feminine energy is the most expensive energy in the world it creates living human being from my body i can create children so that means i'm very valuable that means i'm very expensive number three we discussed that you need to focus and actually have practical self-care rituals taking a bath doing your makeup taking care of your hair whatever it is for you but that needs to be done and not once a week or once a month but basically every day you're tweaking something okay today i'll go do my eyebrows tomorrow i'll do my nails uh, then uh, this weekend i'll go um you know do a hygiene of my teeth 
You are constantly nurturing yourself with different self-care rituals that benefits you, that increases your feminine energy. Number four, we discussed that it is surrounding yourself with beautiful items. Like I showed you, beautiful bags, beautiful shoes, beautiful perfume, beautiful makeup items, beautiful setup, beautiful dresses. Everything that makes you beautiful, makes you feel beautiful, your eyes see beauty, is going to increase your feminine energy. There is actually big connection between beauty and femininity. So they're related. They're relatives, like two sisters or cousins. So they're related. <laughs> Number five, we discussed that you need to surround yourself with masculine men. Not a feminine one who's draining you, but a masculine man who allows you to stay, to remain. It's like I'm on a holiday with my feminine energy. So you take care of the things. So the man, a real masculine man, will automatically, he doesn't need to do anything, automatically increase your feminine energy. And in the end of the day, you want to be with that type of man who actually influences you to be better, to become more beautiful for him and for yourself. And then we discussed that you also, uh, the last point we discussed is that you need to focus on creating your family, getting married, and nurturing your kids, taking care of your husband, and not being cold and distant, say, I'm not going to do everything. I'm going to do everything you wish. And don't worry, the house is going to be clean. I will order two cleaners. One will come in the beginning of the week, one in the middle of the week. I will make sure that the food is there. I will find a beautiful restaurant that will cook the food, but will always have the food. If I don't know how to cook, I will find a way how to have food. I will order things to come. I will buy the shower gels or shampoos that you need. So when you're taking a shower, my man, you're taken care of. I will do everything for you. It is my pleasure. I will beautify the house. I will beautify myself because that is increasing my feminine energy. You're not supposed to be alone. You're not supposed to be on the street. You're not supposed to be on different dating apps and social media lurking and trying to find something. You're supposed to be at home, protected, safe, taken care of. You're supposed to have family to love and be loved. Now you have learned a lot of things, a lot of practical things, but really start thinking about the last thing I mentioned. Focus on family, focus on nurturing, focus on loving. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you to increase your feminine energy today. You already increased by just watching this video, so congratulations. It was my pleasure to assist you in this. And of course, let me remind you, smile today and enjoy your life.